Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Queen of All Tree. It's your girl Kiki Kamado, and today I have your February 2020 reading. Um, I have an announcement, so you guys, I'm going to be answering you guys' questions um, all this whole month of February. So if you have a question that you want me to ask, let me answer for you guys, and it's going to be free, so just ask the question if you're going to answer. Um, put it in the comment section below, and each week I'm going to be answering it on a Sunday, so I'm going to put this reading up today, so you guys have all week from this week all the way until next Sunday the 15th okay to put your question in and on the 15th I'm going to be um, answering you guys' questions okay so let's go right on ahead into your guys' energy so this is going to be about you and the person that you're thinking about to deal with okay Taurus. Oh, I didn't say Aries. I think I said Taurus. <laughs> this is for Taurus, you guys. Mm. Okay, so the overall energy here is the Two of Swords. Okay, so I feel like you guys are definitely um, in a stalemate type of energy. You guys are like blocking communication, um, just choosing not to see you certain shit. That's what I'm feeling like. You don't have time to be dealing with a lot of stuff. I feel like you're thinking about and contemplating other offers at the moment, okay? And I feel like you're blocking some things out, okay? You're trying to figure out what you want to do with your life here with the page of wands. Like, you're taking action forward here. You're contemplating on what you want to do. As far as taking action, so you and like some stuck stalemate type of energy, um, could possibly be dealing with. Um, I feel like you got a, something that you're trying to look forward to. I feel like you guys want to get married here with the Hierophant, okay? And you want it to be a successful marriage, um, one where you guys are having financial stability here, very stable. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn. Okay, but that's you guys' overall energy here. And I feel like you guys definitely have a decision that you need to make um, in a relationship. So, your first card out is the Five of Coins. Okay, this is in your past energy. So, I feel like um, you was either left out in the cold with somebody or I'm really picking up some type of financial issue. Like, you had some type of financial issue in the past. Could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo. Capricorn, this is Taurus energy, the Five of Coins, though. Um... And that's your energy. So, um, definitely dealing with some financial issues um, in the past, um, or somebody left you out in the cold, okay? And then I feel like um, in the present, we have the hermit energy. So, you guys are definitely just being by yourself, okay? Um, going within, being alone, trying to, you know, figure some shit out here. Um, this is the card of Virgo, but we have a moon here. It could possibly be. Um, Pisces or Cancer energy, okay, that you have in your chart, or Virgo, and then with the future energy, we have the Knight of Swords, so I do feel like things are definitely going to be taking off fast, um, pretty quickly in the future here, um, you're going to be making moves fast, or you're going to be thinking about a lot of things, um, it's just going to be a lot of things that's going to be happening at once, I feel like it's going to be coming through quick. Um, and that's Aquarius energy. Now, the person that you're thinking about or dealing with in the past energy, they had the Ten of Cups, okay? So, I feel like this person was definitely happy um, in the situation. This person, um, yeah, this person just felt like they was in bliss. Like, as far as you was concerned, I feel like this person was definitely really happy um, in the situation when you was that Ten of Cups, okay? Um, and then in their present energy, we have the Strength cards. So I feel like this person is loyal to you or trying to be loyal or trying to have some type of strength in the situation um, currently. All right, so I'm feeling like, um, oh, you could be dealing with a Leo, so, or Scorpio Cancer Pisces, but um, I feel like this person is definitely trying to have some strength, okay, and tame something 
currently in. I do feel like this person is loyal, though. Um, and then in the future energy for this person, we have a separation with you or a heartbreak with the Three of Swords. So I feel like this person could be feeling like, you know, they could feel really hurt, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify these cards. So what is going on for Taurus for the, what is for the past energy? Why is this um, five of coins here for Taurus, please, for the past? I want this five of coins here for Taurus for the past. Okay, the sun. Okay, so I feel like you guys, um, I feel like you got some type of clarity here. And we have the, this tried to come out too, the nine of um, cups. So I feel like your wishes were definitely fulfilled here with this person um, that you was dealing with. This person who had left you out in the cold. But I do kind of feel like there was definitely some type of financial situation. But somebody left you out in the cold. And I feel like you got some type of clarity here in the situation of why this person had left you out um, in the cold. And I felt like when this person came forth with this information, that pretty much gave you some type of uh, wish fulfillment. Okay, you felt really happy with this person. Because I do feel like this person did make you happy. Like, you seen this person as your son. Like, you wanted to go after this person. You had a lot of passion for this person. Like, sex with this person was definitely the bomb. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. And if this, this is a, if you're a female watching, this person definitely is, this person is big, okay, downstairs. Let's just say that. that like, he, he know how to work it. <laughs> This person definitely know how to work, and I feel like there was a lot of passion between the two. This person is very attractive, a go getter. Okay, but this is in your past. You can probably feel that way. You can get one that's real good, you know, to this person. But I feel like you was really happy because you had took that leap of faith and started that brand new passionate opportunity here um, with this person. I feel like you had the yeah. I feel like you. <laughs> Well, I feel like you're saying had the confidence. You did have the confidence to start this, but it was just, you had a lot of drive and motivation when dealing with this person, going after this person, and having a lot of, um, I, I'm picking up this person had a high sex drive. Somebody have a high sex drive. Um, like, they can just keep going. Like, they go too fucking long or some shit like that. I don't know. This person got a high sex drive, Aries, whoever this is, and I feel like some of you guys, was like could be tired of like having sex all the time with this person. I don't know. Could be dealing with for cancer, Aries, um, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or or um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, I'm feeling like you needed to have patience with this person. Um, there was definitely some type of balance that you needed to have with this person before. You took a leap of faith with them, okay? Um, or you had to heal first before you took a leap of faith with this person who you have a lot of passion for because I felt like you was left out in the cold in the past until you found this person, okay? Um, yeah, it could be dealing with the Aries, Aquarius, Sagittarius. A lot of fire energy and water energy coming out today for you guys. Okay, so let's clarify the Hermit. So in your current energy... You guys, there is definitely um, hermit energy. So it's like you being by yourself, you being alone. Um, you take some time to think. Play for the hermit energy, please, for Taurus. Okay, yeah. You're thinking and not really trying to give to the situation here. Um, you're thinking about something that's not fair in a situation, something that's not being equal, not giving. Somebody's not giving a lot in the situation, okay? And I feel like um, we have the three of wands and the five of pentacles. So I'm feeling like um, you make making plans to leave somebody out in the cold or you try to make some type of plans or progression and dealing with some type of financial um, issue here. Okay, yeah, it just, when I put it down, it just flipped out the reverse. So it's like you you guys are making plans in progression, okay? You're trying to come out of being out in the cold, okay, or being out in, um, you, I feel like you kind of left somebody out in the cold here and you wasn't given equally in the situation or they wasn't, but whatever it was, it's the financial situation and 
I feel like you guys are trying to make plans to come out of this situation because you want stability here. Um, financial stability and you guys want a commitment. That's what I'm feeling like. I feel like some of you guys could have been going within. Um, you wasn't really giving too much in the situation with this person other than passion. Probably not giving finances or something else. Um, because you were trying to figure out whether or not you really wanted a commitment with this person here. But I do feel like you want to work together with this person currently. And you want to offer um, some type of romance with this person. You know, some type of proposal or some type of offer, you know, to make the relationship um what am I trying to say? To progress the relationship much um, much forward. Because I do feel like, yeah, you have a lot of emotions for this person here. Like, we have the King of, Queen of Cups and the Queen, King of Pentacles. So, you have a lot of emotions with this person. Like, you really love this person a lot. Um, and you feel like you can have a lot of stability with this person here. Um, yeah, it could be a water sign. Um, a Pisces or a Cancer or um, a Capricorn, okay, or a Scorpio energy or Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But I feel like you guys want to make forth the effort, and I feel like that you want to work with this person um, and collaborate with this person. You want to make this offer towards them. Yeah, you got a lot of emotion for them. And this person feels the same way about you. Ooh. Okay, temperance try to come out. But I do feel like things are definitely unbalanced here or there's a need for somebody to heal from the situation, okay? Could be the little Sagittarius. Clarify the um, Knight of Swords, please, for Taurus, the future energy. That's not a knight of swords. Okay. So, yeah, that's definitely something. Some type of fast communication is going to be coming in here. Um, about some type of betrayal or some things are going to be ending abruptly. Like, it's going to happen out of nowhere. Um, I feel like you could have been dealing with a Virgo for some reason. Yeah, because somebody needs to heal. We have temperance coming back out again. Um, there's definitely need to be some type of balance or some type of healing. There was some type of betrayal that happened. Somebody was making some reckless moves or somebody going to be doing something reckless. And I feel like there's going to be some type of, it's some deceit going on. So it's like somebody feel like they was backstabbed. Okay. And um, they need to heal from this backstabbedness. Um, that's not even a word. They need to heal from this betrayal here. Okay. Um heal from whatever this was they were stuck in this situation. It could be an Aquarius. You could have been betrayed by an Aquarius or somebody with Aquarius in that chart. Or Sagittarius. And it's like somebody want to make the investment or come forth with this so it was this person. So it's Virgo Capricorn energy. But there's definitely, you know, secrets here. There's something that's hidden here with this moon card. Yeah, somebody definitely has options. In the relationship. This is what I was picking up. Somebody definitely has options here with this relationship. Um, but I kind of feel like somebody definitely has a lot of emotions. And I feel like this person is definitely thinking about it. But because somebody had options in a relationship, this is what was hidden behind the moon, you know, of a partnership. There was definitely some type of um, death here with the death card. Yep. And we have the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords. So definitely some type of deception here. Somebody was lying, sneaking around. Um, had other partners, other relationships here, which holds the cycle to end. You guys could have been in a marriage with this person, okay? But I see that you guys are definitely looking back at this relationship and thinking about giving it another chance, okay? Um, thinking about, oh my goodness, we have the two lovers cards right back to back to each other. Thinking about a decision with this relationship with this person because I feel like you had a good connection with this person. Like I said, chemistry with this person was just like off the fucking chain. Like you feel stuck and bound to this person, Taurus. Um, like I said, this person definitely had a lot of chemistry. Like you felt really happy with this person. Okay? Like this person gave you a lot of motivation. They made you feel attractive. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Could be dealing with the Taurus. Gemini, 
I feel like you guys definitely was feeling like he was getting more stuck in the situation and he was holding back from the situation. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, yeah. Okay. Sagittarian energy, Aquarius. I said that. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Definitely Capricorn energy. Okay, so some of you guys can have those signs in your chart or the person that you're thinking about or dealing with can have those in that chart, okay? So the person that you're thinking about or dealing with, they had the Ten of Cups too. Like, they was really happy in that situation. Maybe you guys were married or something like that, but I'm feeling like they was really happy with you in the past as well. Um, can I have the Ten of Cups for this person at? Yeah, they didn't want the cycle to end here. They didn't want anything to change in a situation um, with you. They definitely didn't want things to change, okay? They was really happy with the way that things was going here. Um, I feel like this person definitely wanted to commit to you um, with this person. I feel like you guys had a good spiritual connection with the hyphen here. It could be a Taurus or a Gemini or a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. All right. And then that present energy is like this person is trying to have strength in this situation. Um, and I feel like this person is trustworthy, but they're trying to have strength. Um, what is he trying to have the courage to do, though? Yeah, because I feel like this person is feeling sad and lost. You have this, you have this. You know, you have the five of pentacles. So those definitely changes. I see another five, two fives. Yeah, two fives here. So those definitely changes in the situation. But this person definitely feels regret or loss um, about this situation here. And... I feel like this is definitely divine timing. Um, the divine had to intervene here in this situation. Like, there was just no way around it. Like, something had to give. And there was definitely some type of in intervention here in the situation. But I do feel like um, I did, I feel like there's definitely going to be some type of victory dealing with this person. Um, Yeah, there's definitely going to be some, some victory dealing with the conflict, dealing with this person. Um, so we have a lot of fives, so things definitely change. Because we have five, five fives out with the six of wands, the five of wands, and then now the six of cups. But there's definitely going to be a reconciliation. Um, yeah, I feel like it's going to be a reconciliation. This person is definitely in some type of conflict, like at... They want, a, they want a victory, but they conflicted about reconciling here with the um, Six of Cups. But this person is definitely thinking about you because they miss you here with the Five of Cups, okay? So I don't know if y'all y'all must not even be together or something like that. Um, yeah, but this person is definitely trying to take that time because there was definitely a separation here with this the, 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 the Three of Cups, okay? So they're trying to move forward, okay? Because even they feel like, even they know that you had your heart broken, okay, or... This person has had their heart broken in the past, and they're really trying to take their time before they give an offer out or before they think about accepting an offer. Yeah, they have a Taurus in their chart, um, Libra. Okay, yeah, I feel like with this person, you have emotions, but you're just holding it back. They have a lot of emotions with the King of Cups. Could possibly be your counterpart, you know, your marriage, your birth. I mean, you could be married to this person. But this person definitely has a lot of emotions, and they're thinking about coming forth and expressing these emotions to you with the ace of cups here they want to communicate it to you can i say that they want to communicate this to you because they want something new with you they want to start a brand new passionate beginning with you here even though this isn't the ace of cups but this is just the page of cups like the page is just getting his bearings like getting out there in the world trying to figure out what it is that he want to do you know passionately and trying to implement that and this is what this person is trying to do but he's holding this person's definitely holding back their emotions but they're trying to be strong in the situation here yeah, and they just watching for now. You know, they pretty much just watching and seeing what's going on. They're not really making any moves currently. Trying to gain control of the situation here with the Emperor card. So we have Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I'm, I'm picking up more fire energy over here than I was over there. 
this might be your energy for real i mean but put it to where it applies okay so the future energy for this person is the three of swords so this is definitely just like a separation a heartbreak that this person is feeling here let's talk this three of swords you know hopefully this person wasn't rejected but i do feel like they still feeling hurt um and regretful because they really didn't want something to end yeah so we have the star card here so this person is healing from the separation i feel like they're going to heal from the separation of in the future emotionally they want to heal and i do feel like um once they do heal emotionally, I feel like this person is definitely going to try to come back um, with the six of six of swords. I do feel like they're going to try to come back, okay? Um, or I feel like it's just too much for them and they just want to move away because it's a burden. Like, emotionally, they feel tired, okay? Yeah. Two more for star card for this person. Hope you're dealing with an Aquarius. You have a star card with the person that Taurus is thinking about dealing with. Okay, yeah. We have the um high priestess. So this person is definitely like in the emotions here. They dealing emotionally here. Uh, when you listen to their intuition, this person is definitely intuitive. Okay. Um yeah, and they definitely wishing and thinking about a lot of things um, on their mind or on the emotions. This is what I'm feeling like. Um, and they're trying to work their emotions out because it's a burden for them. So I feel like this person is really an emotional person. They just don't really show it to you like that, whoever this person is that you're thinking about, okay, or dealing with. Somebody is definitely an emotional person. Um, yeah, but they just have a lot of baggage. I feel like. When this person entered the sea of life, they had a lot of baggage or something like that. Okay, probably a child's mother here with the Empress card or somebody they have kids about kids with. Okay, that they're trying to protect themselves from and block themselves from. Could be a Libra. Okay. So let me um see what the romance angels have to say for you guys. Taurus. Okay, we have honeymoon. It says enjoy, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Like I said, somebody was really happy in a situation and they didn't want something to end. Okay, like I said, you was happy here too with the sun here. Like this person, like you was this person gave you a lot of drive. Like you was definitely determined to be with this person here. Um, but I feel like you just block communication. From this person because of decision. I feel like you had a decision to make between two people. I feel like you was dealing with another person and then this other person just came along and just rocked your world or something like that. Okay, and then we have um calling in your soulmate. It says your prayers, affirmations, and realizations help bring the two of you guys together. Okay. Let's see what other messages can we get for Taurus, please, for February 2020. Finances and career. Okay, so this is the reason why, like I was saying, with the five of pentacles, like there was definitely some issues with the money, like financially. This is what I was talking about. And um, it was saying financial issues are affected in your love life right now. Okay, so there's definitely some type of financial issues. And it's saying for you guys to pay attention to the red flags. Okay, um, there was definitely some type of financial issue that caused you to be out in the cold, even though, like, I figured. Yeah, it was definitely some type of financial issue here um, that you was having, even though you was really happy with this person, but something definitely came came to light, okay, with the sun card. It was definitely eliminated, or um, I just want to say it was just, you gained a lot of clarity about this person with the, um, with the sun card here. And then we have, let your friends help you in this situation. Okay, and it says, ask and ask and ask for and accept support from others. Okay, um, and then we also have give your relationship a chance. So it says, work on your partnerships. So some of you guys definitely need to work 
um, on the situation if if you want it. You know, if you want the situation, I feel like that you need to work on it. All right. So this is what I have for you, Taurus, for this month. Don't go ahead and like the video and comment down below if it resonated. And if you have a question, go ahead and put it in the comments. And I'll see you guys in my next video.